Hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Subnautica. Guess where I'm going? We're starting off this video going to the place for like the last six videos I've said I've wanted to go. I started this trip before the video started so I couldn't be distracted by anything else. We are going to this place. Oh, this is kind of cool. As I was going this way, I just kind of dipped down. There was like a crack in the sea floor. And there's some pretty scary predators above us. But by going in here, it kind of looks like we avoid them. Uh, did this sea monkey just try to bring me copper? Thanks, bud. I mean, I don't need that. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you keep it. But that was really nice of you to think of me. I really like the sea monkeys. We're gonna have to make some sea monkey friends. I should also probably put my scanner on my bar. So I'm just gonna drive to the part perfect where we're just under the pilot's last known location, and I'm gonna start to descend. We've already seen some of this before a hundred percent, but it looks like the sea monkeys are finding new stuff all the time. An exosuit thermal reactor module. Definitely first time seeing that. Also makes me think we're gonna get into significantly colder water if I'm gonna need a thermal module. A prawn suit grappling arm. Where did you guys find this? One more and we can make that. I mean, I can't even make a prawn suit yet, but... Nice, dude. I'm gonna go up a little bit. Because there were very clear paths down last time. Like, to a significantly deeper area. And I'm not seeing them while I'm hanging out with the sea monkeys. Yeah, what about this? What about this? This looks better. We have a gel sack attached to the side of the wall. Another exosuit thermal reactor module fragment. Oh, it's for the prawn suit. Interesting. I don't know what this is. A hive mind. The hive mind are never alone and grow in massive clusters. They are physically, psychically, no, physically connected by a root system, which sends out a chemical signal in the presence of large predators. This signal activates a chemical reaction within its green porous membrane, resulting in visible change of color in its bioluminescence. This action has two effects. The uniform change in color grants the hive mind the appearance of one large interconnected organism. This is a form of camouflage called disruptive coloration, which is confusing to predators. Smaller sea creatures confuse the change in color for sunlight and are drawn towards the clusters. Well, I don't mean you any harm. I don't really think I'm a predator. I haven't killed too much stuff. I eat mostly plants. I have slain a lot of bladderfish, to be fair. They, good water. Good water in those bladderfish. This is it. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. Well, 300 meters is right here. Warning. Maximum depth reached. We're going to have to do the rest on our own. Oh. Definitely it didn't see this before. Reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. Sure, dude. What did we actually find? The Architect Artifact. A marine life analyzer. This container might have been used to create small microbiomes for aquatic flora and fauna. Design indicates the following likely usage pattern. Trap and ensnare small fauna. Gather data on how... Oh. <laughs> okay. 
I don't want to trade, but thank you so much. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much. Do you want something in return? Because I can drop that copper for you. <laughs> he scared me. Yo. Oh, nickel! First time seeing nickel. It was worth it. It was worth it to come here. Oh, I'm starting to notice it in more places too. We have a new mineral deposit as well. Uh, gold and titanium. I am out of gold. Yes, this is fantastic news. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. <gasps> Holy fucking shit, is that a ruby? Uh, with rubies, we can make aerogel, which means we can make a, um... Oh my god, you're bringing me rubies, I love you! You're so be- Oh, gonna drown. Oh, I'm gonna drown. Oxygen. Uh, six. Th three. Zero. It's okay. Hey, this might be a good time to use the mineral detector. Uh, I would like you to find nickel. Huh. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I love you. Okay, I did a few laps around the rest of the cave Oxygen. down there. And I didn't find any more nickel down there, although it does look like there's some mineral deposits we can slap on the wall up here at 300 meters where we parked the ship. Uh, this was not the same area I found last time. The one we found last time could go much deeper into the earth. Um, and it had like red floaty little flower segments all over the place that we could collect. We still need those because they make benzene. Uh, we managed to find six nickel, two rubies, two gold. I mean, already that is a great haul. I don't feel bad about that at all. Kind of turned around. Don't even know where to start looking for it, honestly. Whoa, we have an underground color geothermal area here. And an alien light. Alan, you got anything to say about this, my dude? We're 250 meters down. The only other time we've seen an area like this is very close to the surface. A sea truck docking module. Progress one out of three. And more alien lights this way. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I can't go too much lower than this. Another site found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. Perhaps... I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. I will provide a signal. Great, thank signal you location for doing uploaded to PDA. What do we have here? We had an ion cube just chilling over there. Still don't... I mean, in the previous game, we can make ion batteries with it, but that was a whole thing. That was a whole process. I don't think I'm able to do anything with them yet. Uh, an architect artifact. A fossil excavator. New technology acquired. New blueprint synthesized. A recyclatron. This cave goes on for quite a ways. Hey, what's up? How do humans function with such a fallible and inferior body? Excuse you? My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my Boy, body to be able to do what it does. Reached. Yes, but its imminent. overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable uh. thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. 
The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. Look at this shit. We're 455 meters down. I'm not going to be able to stay down here long. And I don't know if I even want to stay down here long. It is incredibly cloudy. But there's large crystal formations down here. I keep thinking I'm hearing something. It's odd that there's so many fish this deep, though. <gasps> Please don't tell me that's kyanite. Okay, well, let's see if we can stay down here. Oh, hello, little rock grub. I'm gonna take you with me. I'm gonna bring you home. You'll be good friends with Hoopfish. Another torpedo arm. I mean, it makes sense that these Pransu things are here. That's a new fish up ahead. Proceed with caution. An arriving class mm -hmm. creature is near. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm trying to swim in between crystals. Holy fucking shit, that was a huge fish and it just came out of nowhere. What the fuck? What the fuck? It was so peaceful down there. There was nothing down there. I don't even know what the fuck that was. It looked like the alien from Avengers. You know, you know the first Avengers movie where the aliens invade? That's what that motherfucker looked like. Uh, I'm gonna go back down there because there's Kyanite. Uh, I'm gonna stay the fuck away from that side where that creature was. And hopefully I don't regret that decision, which is why we're gonna save. So there's lithium down here. There seems to be some pretty sparse kyanite down here, which glows blue. It seems very sparse. Uh, Holy shit, this goes even deeper. Oh, hey, little buddy. I'm not here to bother you. I'm heading back towards it. Oh my God. The bottom, wow. The bottom of that fucking thing opens up like the gaping dragon. Oh, you know what, I'm good. Oh, but there's kind of right there. Please just stay low, stay low, stay low. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Gotta get out of here. That's a great find and everything, but this wasn't what I was looking for. Which means there's, whoa, don't go over that, it's gonna explode. Okay, great. Which means there's a lot of biodiversity down here. That's the deepest we've ever gone. The rebreather's certainly helping out with that, allowing us to actually get down there. Let's make sure I refill both tanks with air. I like our double tank diving method. I think that's smart. That's based on some real world techniques. I don't know if that's a common strategy that people do in Subnautica, in Subnautica games, but um, it feels cool to bring some of my diving experience actually into the game. My very limited little diving experience. Oh, hello. Is this the last docking bay?
Nice. Oh my god. This is the same... This is the same geothermal area that goes up to the surface. Wow, that is such a huge cave system. Wow, that's really impressive, actually. I went back towards the pilot's last known location. You came within range of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. You must continue Warning. to investigate. Maximum depth reached. Um, this looks like it leads down to the body cache. And I also think this is the cave that we were looking for. Yes, please. Oh, inventory's full. All right, guys, you're free to go. <laughs> Fuck yes. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. Okay, I'll go check it out for you, my dude. I'll at least try to. I don't know what kind of scary shit's down here. Oh, we need one of these mushrooms as well. Let's make sure we bring one of these back. Young cotton. I still don't know how to say that A word, so I'm going to stop saying it. So he's 138 meters down from where I am right now. I'm not seeing any obvious paths to, to go to descend. More nickel in here. This is... Oh, oh, another one of those fucking plants! Get off me! <sighs> that piece of shit. Oh, this goes a little deeper. Um, I'm not too sure how we're supposed to get more oxygen down here. But it looks like this is the path towards his thing. Or not. Dead end. Oh. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. We have another tank. I'm just going to head back up to the sea truck. It is a long way back up to the truck. My sea glide's about to go out. We're almost completely out of batteries. And for once, I don't think I brought more. No, I did. No, I did. Okay. Uh, I might just jettison this extra battery because we have more back at base. Um, excuse the pun. I think we're a little out of our depth here. Just because, like, we're getting close to 500 meters. The ship can only go to 300. Uh, getting back up to the ship is extremely difficult to do. It takes, like, 45 seconds. Uh, I'm going to bring out the mineral detector and see if there's any magnonite. He Whoa! No fucking... Right there. This is our first magnonite we've ever seen. Okay, battery, you got to go. And I might want to drop some other stuff off. Uh, I'll just drop this other battery. Can you lead me to more magnonite? Oh, yes. Oh, right there. Well, we know where to find it now. It's in this cave. I don't think I could carry any more. My inventory is literally overflowing with all kinds of good shit that we need. What a good problem to have. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. You think this leads down to his spot? Seek fluid intake. Oh, well, now I'm thirsty too. Oh my goodness. Uh, looks Oxygen. like. Oh, bad time! Bad time! Bad time! Fuck off! Go away! I gotta go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to leave. Okay, I'm heading back to the base. This was a fantastic, fantastic dive today. We're gonna be able to tech up a lot. And we got a ton of just like sea truck modules, prawn suit modules, stuff that Warning. isn't raw materials. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. But much more advanced crafting than what we started this off on. I knew going to this cave was a good idea. That's why I didn't delay at all. 
<laughs> and I went to it first thing. I'm just gonna floor it back home. Welcome Made it back Captain. in one piece just before I died of dehydration. Oh shit. Straight, 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 straight. Vital signs stabilizing. Whew! What a haul. That was really, really great. We managed to pick up uh, one, two, three, uh, eight rubies. We have nickel for the first time as well. We have uranite crystals for the first time as well. We have magnetite for the first time. Wow. Uh, and we have kyanite for the first time. That is incredible. That place had so much good stuff. That is amazing. Uh, we do need to plant this so we can start to propagate it. And we also restocked our gold. We were completely out. Last episode, I think I caught it in editing. I said that a computer chip needed magnetite. I was just out of gold. I meant to I meant to say gold. I said the wrong thing. So with all of this new stuff that we gathered, we should be able to upgrade our sea truck a fair amount. At least I think so. I think I'm going to save that for next episode. It deserves its own dedicated episode. Our sea truck has been a great asset for us. However, before we end, I'm going to take my little habitat builder, get another grow bed going, and plant that mushroom. It's fully grown. Let me scan it, too, so we have that in our data logs. Um, floor sample used in advanced construction. So now we're going to hit it with our knife, break it into three pieces, and then plant those three pieces. And these are the antenna plants that we picked up not long ago. I'm gonna do the same thing with these. We're basically destroying them for seeds, replanting the seeds so they regrow. I don't think this one's used in crafting at all. I think it's just for a uh, uh, reliable source of food that also gives water. So it might be better to move some of these inside, uh, but we'll worry about that. We'll worry about that later. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed exploring that cave with me. I cannot believe how many advanced materials we walked away with, but that is a fantastic haul. Take care, guys. See you again soon. Goodbye.